Hi, Mark McPherson here with another one of my blogs in the series, 52 blogs in 52 weeks, with each blog being about one of my 52 types of people who are poorly behaved and at times downright difficult. This week I'm talking about number 11, the motor mouth. Now the motor mouth is someone who, as the name suggests, just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Sometimes it's interesting, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's stuff that's valuable to us, sometimes it's not. But they really do go on and on and on. These are the people who like to hear the sound of their own voice. Now, let's be clear. All of us, well, most of us, have at some time in our life at least been a bit of a motor mouth. And on different occasions, what becomes a motor mouth uh, changes. Sometimes we can handle someone going on for 15 minutes. Other times, three seconds is enough and we just want them to shut up. So. We've all maybe been a motor mouth in our, our life once or, or twice, but the motor mouth is someone who makes it a habit. It's their way of life. It's how they operate. You know, you see them coming at a party and you say to yourself, oh no, not them, oh, uh, or whatever. Maybe at a cafe, uh, at work, you know, you're, you're making lunch and you say, please don't let Bill come in here. He's just going to talk and talk and talk at me. So the motor mouth is someone who just talks incessantly, you can't get them to shut up, and you really want them to. And I reckon there's a way of handling that, and I think it's a case of you really need to talk to these people up front. Be assertive, be diplomatic, but assertive, and you need to tell people what is actually going on, and I have a technique uh, for that. I don't think you should beat around the bush by saying, oh, geez, it's uh, a lot of people talking in here today, or something like that. No, I think you need to speak to them straight to their, their face about, about the issue. And you can do it so it's not rude, it's polite, it's respectful, it's assertive, but it's also diplomatic. Anyway, whatever you're doing, hope you're having a good time. I hope you don't have too many motor mouths in your, in your life, uh, but <laughs> whatever you're doing, I hope you're well, I hope you're happy, look after yourselves, see you later.